We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Hello guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. This is the continuation of the human noble origin story. In the last episode we've lost our father and our mother, the Tyrns of Hyever, to the treachery of Earl Howe, who instead of marching his troops to aid his king, this one, this is King's, uh, King Merrick, and uh, fight the Darkspawn here at Ostagar, he actually directed his men to Hyever, who only had a token force to defend itself, and sacked the castle, killing my mother, my father, all our guests, and almost killing our young hero here. We've escaped with the help of Duncan, and we are now at Ostagar in the King's Camp. Let's... What should we say? Are you not even aware my father is dead? No. Yes, your majesty, my name is TJ. Let's be courteous. Your brother has already arrived with High Ever's men, but we are still awaiting your father. He's not coming. He died when our castle was taken. You don't know what's, ha what's happened? News from the north has been unreliable. What's happened? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, your majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. Thank you, Your Majesty. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Yes. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. God damn. He may be in danger. We are all in danger, my friend. Yeah, Nothing can no. be done until your brother returns, and that will not be until the battle is over. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. Hmm, okay. So long as Earl Howe pays, I'm happy. What would you know of my grief now? I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. <laughs> Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters and tomorrow should be no different. Look at the armors these guys are wearing. I like it. Shiny. Okay, I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grave wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. <laughs> I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, grave wardens. I am not a grey warden yet, your majesty. But that is going to change shortly. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Okay. Uh, he didn't seem to take the Darkspawn very seriously. Perhaps this isn't, this isn't really a blight after all. You don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, 
The Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Why not? Well, then maybe we should move quickly. What would you have him do? Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Okay. What do you mean, what ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Okay. I need to find Fergus. You heard what the king said. He is scouting in the wilds and beyond contact. Be patient. He will return. Okay. Why is this ritual so secret? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Okay. Am I the only recruit you have? No. There are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Okay. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. Okay. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. Why? Why? The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Okay. Hmm. I wanted Rex with me, but okay. The Kokari Wilds, Ostagar. Joining the Grey Wardens, new quest. All right, here we are. Have we leveled up? No, we have not leveled up. Let's see. Uh, the axe. Okay. Oh, the armors that uh, my mother wore. Yep. Everything she had on her has been returned to my inventory. Okay. I have 55 out of 70. Okay, so only. How much is it? 15? Yep. Alright. Good. Now, let's see. Joining the Grey Wardens. You have arrived at the King's Camp just outside the, the Kokari Wilds in the ruin known as Ostagar. Duncan has told you that you are ready to begin the joining. You should seek out the Grey Warden named Alistair somewhere in the camp. We will do that. Creatures. Archdemon. The false dragon gods of the Tervinter Imperium lie buried deep within the earth, where they have been imprisoned by the maker since sorry, my god I can't I can't say uh, since the maker cast them down. No one knows what it is that drives the darkspawn in their relentless search relentless sorry search for the sleeping old gods. Perhaps it is instinct, as uh, moths will fly into torch flames. Perhaps there is some remnant des of desire for vengeance upon the ones who goaded the Magisters to assault heaven. Whatever the reason, when the Darkspawn find one of these ancient dragons, in its immediate, it is immediately afflicted by the taint. It awakens twisted and corrupted and leads the Darkspawn in a full-scale invasion of the land of Blight. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I seriously do not know what I can do to increase the font of these uh, writings. We've already read that. Hi, Ever. Oh, right. Today, Hi, Ever is one of the only two remaining. We've read that. The Kustland family, however, was all but wiped out in an unexpected attack by Arl Howe of Amaranthine. And the fate of the Ternier is now in question. Oh? Okay. The Kokari Wilds. It is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves stalked the lands of Ferelden in numbers and kept away farm holder indoors, kept every farm holder indoors, and a hound on every doorstep, a powerful R of the Alamari peoples 
stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His Arling stood on the border of the Dark Forest, on the southern border of the Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the forest to launch their midnight assaults on humanity. For twenty years this Arl led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest. In this hunt for the werewolves, he slew not only every wolf he came upon, but also every member of the chastened wilder folk. Any of them, he said, could harbor a demon inside and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For twenty years the forest rang with screams and the rivers ran red. The tales say that an old chastened woman found her sons all dead at the Arl's blades. She pulled one of those very blades from one of uh, one son's heart and plunged it into her own chest, cursing the Arl's name as she did so. Where her blood touched the ground, a mist began to rise. It spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest. The Arl's army became lost, and it is said that they died there. Others say they wander still. The ruins of this Arling stand to this day, filled with the ghosts of women waiting eternally for their husbands to return. The forest is uh, uh, the forest of legend is, of course, the Kokari Wilds. There are there are as many legends about the Great Southern Forest as there are shadows. Or so the saying goes. The chastened wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wild lands spread so far into the south as anyone has ventured. Beyond the mists are vast tracts of snow, white raped cap <laughs> Jesus Christ raped Ugh. white capped mountains and entire fields of ice. It is a land too cold for mankind to survive, yet the chastened eke out an existence even there and they tell of horrors beyond the wilds that the uh, what? lowland folk could not begin to comprehend. The most Ferelden simply ends to most Ferelden simply ends with the Kokari wilds. There is nothing beyond. The wilds is a land of great trees, wet marshes and dangerous monsters. What more need be said? Oh my god. Arl Rendon How, when Bryce sent his men to support the king at Ostagar, Howe took, uh, took it as an opportunity to attack Hyever, slaughtering the people there and claiming the land and title as his own. Of all the inhabitants of the castle, Kusland, only TJ survived. That's us. Loghain MacTeer. Loghain was born a farmer during the time when his country was under foreign occupation. When he was still a boy, he joined the resistance, where his considerable tactics genius quickly became apparent. He became close friends with Prince Merrick, the last true heir of Ferelden's of Ferelden throne, and together they led the rebels to drive out the forces of Orlesian Empire. Merrick raised his friend to the, nobili to the nobility, and Loghain is now more of a symbol than a man. He represents the Ferelden ideals. Of hard work and independence. What controls ranked creatures we know, fatigue we know. <clears throat> okay. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. Elf root. Oh, okay. Let's check the map first. Oh, pretty big. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Quartermaster. Alistair. King Kalen's tent. Logain stand. Duncan's. Fire, dog kennels, infirmary, Kokari Wilds, King's Highway. <clears throat> let's uh, let's see what this is, and of course let's uh, rob this guy. Okay. You don't want to go into the Tower of Ishal. It's off limits for now, I'm afraid. Why? The Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. Uh, what is the Tower of Ishal? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Oh. Why is the Tower of Limits? By orders of Terran Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. Oh, okay. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. Could Darspawn be coming from there? 
I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? Uh -huh. Okay. This is a pretty large ruin. It goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Yeah. Dwarves the and their stonework. Exemplar. All right. Let's pick this elf root. Good. And another elf root. Elf root chest. Soldier. Oh, oh okay. There are plenty of uh, things here, it seems. A soldier. Make a Nothing to steal. You. Seriously. Okay. Sex. Small chipped ice crystal. And beef bone. What's a beef bone? A shoulder of beef. Uh, I know what a beef bone is, but what is this beef bone right here? Gifts. Oh, it's a gift. Okay. Can be give, can be sold to merchants or given to certain party members to influence their approval rating. Oh, I remember now. And I have a hunch this uh, gift is for uh, my dog because it's a beef bone. Yep. Why would I need to give my dog a beef bone? He already loves me, doesn't he? I shall do it. Nothing to steal again. What? How come? Are these soldiers so poor that there's actually nothing to steal? Ah, come on! <clears throat> I am offended. But I have nothing to steal, of course. There's a chest with a green stone. Another elf root. I keep picking up these elf roots, but I don't have the herbalism skill, I think. It's called to actually make potions. Nothing to steal again. That is not possible. How can this be? Is it because we don't have a uh, high enough skill? I don't think so. I would have failed the uh, stealing attempt, not. Uh, I would not have. Uh, I would not be receiving the uh, nothing to steal message. <laughs> Very strange. Let's see. Don't tell me. This guy has nothing to steal. Oh, come on! Whoa. Okay. That's a huge drop. Let's, uh, let's not tempt fate. Okay. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes. Again, nothing to steal. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Uh, where is Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Okay. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Okay. I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Oh, okay. Tell me about Ostagar. It used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, mm -hmm. but Tern Loganes closed it off until yeah, the battle. Yeah, I know. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody <laughs> important. Why would you want to swing a dead cat? Come on. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Yeah, I saw a quartermaster. He's just a bit to the exactly. northwest. Yeah. Where is the king? We know the king is in his tent. The circle of magi is ages, here. Yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the tranquil. Yes, we know about people. them. All cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched yep. up with a herd of templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Mm, we've met tranquil when we uh, played the uh, mage origin. Uh, do I hear dogs barking? Of course, Ferelden, my dog is here as well. The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. <laughs> These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Oh. Slow, painful death. Oh boy. Terrible. Okay. I'll be on Good my way then. then. Okay, Ostagar. Another update. Controls. What controls? 
Oh, gifts, right. Ostagar, 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 what else? Uh, it has remained unmanned for four centuries, though most of the walls still stand, as does the tall Tower of Ishal, named after the great Archon that ordered its construction. Ostagar remains a testament of the magical power of the Imperium that created it. So it was created by the Imperium, the Magi, not by the Dwarves. Or the... I think the Dwarves created it at the order of the uh, Derwinter Imperium. I'm sorry, but the Mages must not be interrupted. Okay, what are they doing? The Mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Oh, okay. Let's uh, play stupid. The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. Yes, yes, yes. Or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed. Not even by Grey Warden. I am not a Grey Warden first. Uh, yet. Okay. Can I, uh... Huh? Nothing to steal again. How is that possible? How is that possible? A royal enclave. So this is where the uh, king sits, right? Oh, I cannot enter. Hello. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right oh, now. Oh, it's not. Where is the king? I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go. In fact, Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the <laughs> king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I don't know. We'll see. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. The queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't oh. happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Yeah, okay. As you wish. Can I, uh, you know, nothing to steal again. No, I think something is wrong. It's impossible not to have something to steal. Come on, these are soldiers, they have something on them. Some coins, some crystals, anything. Is it because we don't have the proper skill? Do we need... Improved stealing? Huh. Okay. You approach the tent of Tern Loghain, state your business. Uh, tell me about the Tern. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Okay. Is the Tern inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Why not? Persuade, surely you can tell me a little about him. I wonder... I would like an audience. Nah. Tell me about him. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. Oh. The Terran's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. <laughs> Personally, I think the king should do what Terran Logang tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Okay. I would like an audience. Really? Okay. I suppose you have a message for him. Oh, that worked. Hold on then. Okay, let's see. Would you look at that? I got yes, an audience. Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Uh, I am not a Grey Warden yet. You impressed his majesty nonetheless. He could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? No. Uh, no, I did not know Marek that. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? Uh, my father was turn the turn of High Ever. The king told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. 
pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom if you're the praying sort. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't seem very fond of him. He is Marek's son and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. <laughs> yeah. King Marek. Which is difficult to separate. Huh? Do we know? Have we read this? To separate the man from the myth, the last survivor of the bloodline of King Kalanhad, the Silver Knight, Merrick drove the Orlesian forces from Ferelden's borders, reclaimed the throne and freed our people from foreign tyranny, all true and all larger than life. He was born in hiding near Cathal's crossing to the rebel Queen's Moira, Queen Moira and grew up in the rebel camps, an outlaw in his own country. When the rebel queen died, Merrick inherited her homeless nobles, malcontents and, uh, mis and displaced freeholders, and with the aid of his friend Loghain MacTeer, built them into an army. After the pivotal battle of Riverdane, Merrick took the throne. He married Rowan, daughter of uh, Rendorn Geren, Arl of Redcliffe, and began the long, slow process of rebuilding everything Orlay had demolished during 70 years of occupation. Yeah. Now that's a king. Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart. But don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Okay. We managed to steal something from this guy. Let's see if we can manage it again. She doesn't have anything. I wonder if he has. It shall be done. No. I still wonder, is it because my skill is too low, or because they actually have nothing of value? As you said. Nothing to steal again. Let's talk to the sergeant. First let's see if the sergeant has anything on him. Come on. Yep! Oh, two silvers, nice! Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Okay. Uh, who's who else? Who else? This guy. Nope. Let there me try and. Sport, different kinds. We're getting reports of oh. things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a genlock. They're pretty common in the horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new darkspawn are coming from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There won't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Alright. We stole something. Hello. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Nothing to steal. Good night for it, Warden. Has it been getting colder? Every day seems colder. If you say so. Nothing to steal. So some of them have assets that I can uh, steal. Others don't have anything. Studied leather helm. Leather boots. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Okay. She's a priest. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. My faith sustains me. I shall not fear ten thousand men should they set themselves against me. Okay. My faith sustains me. Okay, okay. Shall I'll leave you to your prayers then. Okay, guys. There is nothing here. 
crossing pass, he made it back last night. Barely. What do you mean? Only two of them made it. And one was minus a leg. Oh. They said they encountered some darkspawn that was ten feet tall, with horns as long as your arm. The injured one died last night. They said his blood was already turning black. Maker's breath. Where are they all coming from? How should I know? My father said Tern Logain is a hero. Good night for it, Warden. The king's lucky he's here. Okay. All oh, this nonsense talk stopped immediately. What are you, a bunch of natural fishwives spreading gossip until you brand your small clothes out of terror? We've seen nothing to suggest that the Darkspawn drag our people underground to eat them. Oh. And I want this talk about Darkspawn enslaving survivors to stop immediately. Keep your minds focused on the battle. You fight for Ferelden and for your king. Remember that. Okay. So there's supposed to be more of these Grey Wardens coming, I hear. Petron said they were all legions. Coming with a whole army of them fancy all legion knights. If my pa wasn't already in his grave, that'd have put him there. <laughs> you think they'll leave once this is done? If we ask them nice? <laughs> if they don't, then we keep on fighting, I guess. I'd rather fight them painted fops than these darkspawn. That howling of theirs gives me nightmares, it does. Yeah, I bet. Anything else, sir? Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Okay, okay, okay. Let's leave. And here's Duncan. You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? Uh, I have some Alistair questions. Can help you with those. Oh, okay. I had hoped he would be back by now. All right. Uh, yeah. You there, elf? What's your name? Ah, uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Elf, hello. Hello. I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? Uh, what do you mean? I deliver messages around the camp. You have a message for me? Uh, no, sorry to bother oh, you. That's alright. Okay. Ash Warrior Leader, hello. Yep. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the turn, I hope. No, more instructions. The turn Logan has changed our scouting route a dozen times. If you're not from the turn, what do you want? We're busy. Oh, I can see. Very busy. You don't look like the other soldiers in the army. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. What's an Ash Warrior? Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. Hmm, okay. What does an Ash Warrior do, actually? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. Oh, Berserkers. It's discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds, and mm -hmm. that is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. Okay. I have a Mabari hound of, of my and own. You are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. Yep. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's <laughs> lap. What are you preparing for? To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the darkspawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The okay. hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Survives the blood? What do you mean? Darkspawn blood is poisonous and not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. Oh, okay. The wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be smarter to leave your dogs behind? They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. Why have you painted your dogs? They are sent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. Oh, what if an enemy is painted with Cadiz as well? <laughs> Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn horse? Of course not! Good. I hear death is unpleasant. Was that a threat? My thanks. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. 
Was that a threat? Did you actually threaten me? Nothing to steal. There's a knight. There's an elf root. Right here. Good. This is the... Hey, oh, hello. One of Duncan's new recruits, correct? Correct. I can't let you through to the Kokari Wilds until he gives the yeah, word. Yeah, I didn't want to go, actually. Okay, I should go. Take care. I uh, misclicked. Sorry. Nothing to steal again. <laughs> All right. What's this? Key required. Okay. Uh, hello. It shall be done. Good. It's good to have grey wardens amongst us. I'm not a grey warden yet, these but I do the like your armor. I like your armor a lot. It is begun. If you die in battle tomorrow, may I have your armor, please? I'm not dog kennels. Okay. It shall Hello. Be done. Sick Mobari. Oh, these are uh, Mobari that have been infected by darkspawn. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. Okay. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand it shall be done. Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Can I not talk to her? I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. Okay, okay. Hello. Let me, uh... Nothing to steal. Huh. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? Yes. He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Hello, Wynne. Pleased to meet you. Well met. And good luck to you on the battlefield. To thank us you. all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the not king? precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Why not? Have you fought Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Uh, the Fade is... Uh... I know the fade is where you go when you dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the fade lies the Black City. Okay, what is the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. Mm. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. I see. Is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Okay. Have you any proper advice? Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is <laughs> to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? Maybe and because I'm you're wise? Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Okay. Win. The Fade. Hmm. Okay, uh, to study the Fade is as old as humankind. For so long as men have dreamt, have dreamed, sorry, we have walked its twisting path, sometimes catching a glimpse of the city at its heart. Always as close as our own thoughts, but impossibly separated from our world. The Tervinter Imperium once spent vast fortunes of gold, lyrium, and human slaves in an effort to map the terrain of the Fade, and ultimately futile endeavor. 
Although portions of it belong to powerful spirits, all of the fate is in constant flux. The Imperium succeeded in finding the des disparate and ever-shifting realms of a dozen demon lords, as well as cataloging a few hundred types of spirits before they were forced to abandon the project. The relationship of dreamers to the Fade is complex. Even when entering the Fade through the use of lyrium, mortals are not able to control or affect it. The spirits who, del who dwell there, however, can. And, as the Chantry teaches us, the great flaw of the spirits is that they have neither imagination nor ambition. They create what they see through their sleeping visitors, building elaborate copies of our cities, people and events, which, like the reflections in a mirror, ultimately lack context or life of their own. Even the most powerful demons merely plagiarize the worst thoughts and fears of mortals and build their realms with no other ambition than to taste life. Okay. Characters. Win, 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 win. I will not lie motionless in a bed with uh, coverlets up to my chin waiting for death to claim me. Wynne's talent became apparent early on, particularly her skill at healing magic. Oh, she's a healer. She was well liked by all her mentors and was recognized as an exceptionally gifted student. Student, Even the Templars who watched her could not deny that she represented the best the Circle had to offer. She was an intelligent young woman who possessed a quiet confidence and maturity beyond her years. She spent many years monitoring apprentices within the circle and her peers thought so highly of her that she was asked to be first enchanter's Irving's successor, but she refused, saying that she had no desire to work in the upper echelons. When the world reached the tower of King Kaelan's call to arms, Wynne volunteered to go to Ostagar. And there she is, right now. Nothing to steal again. That course of action uh. is inadvisable. Okay. This is a tranquil. We know about tranquils. Welcome, young man. Hello. Who are you? I am one of the tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. <laughs> it is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Can you enchant something for me? Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Yes. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Uh, the Chantry claims magic is sinful, because magic is, a, is powerful and dangerous. It is dangerous beyond its power. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Okay. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, huh? I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Oh, okay. Perhaps they should tranquil all mages then. How does someone... How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. You poor thing. Uh, I feel badly for you. you. Do? I feel nothing. As That's exactly why I feel badly for you. My existence is quite peaceful. If I you am say so. alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Let's Perhaps agree to disagree, okay? Speak of something else. Yeah. Do you need assistance? No. What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. Oh, the I want a flaming blade. Perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents 
that allows the tranquil to work with Lyrian soul. Mm. A true mage could not. Okay. What sorts of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Indeed. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Oh my god, how can you say that? Daveth. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What do you mean? The name's Daveth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Oh, you are a... Uh, an, not an apprentice. What is he? Uh, what do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking what is around he? camp last night, see? And I heard a couple of grey wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. How do you figure that? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari wilds here. Miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far. And I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Okay. <clears throat> why would they send us? Why would they send us into the forest? Why are the wilds so frightening? Sounds like some kind of test. Maybe we'll hunt us a souvenir or two. Okay. It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Okay. Uh. I'm looking forward to it. I wouldn't be here if I did. They're forcing you? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Oh. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay. Good. Quartermaster. Oh, a chest. A chest. Ice arrows. Ooh. Can I, uh, you know? It is begun. Oh, I can. Hello, sir. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, mm. carrying a suit of <clears> chain. <throat> no, I have not. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Yes. Do you need help? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find it myself. Okay. What kind of supplies do you Arms have? Arms and armor, for the most part. Oh, okay. It's for the king's men, but uh, you grey wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. Thank you. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Do you? Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Of course I will keep it quiet. Whoa! Okay. Injury kit. Okay, let's take it one at a time. Battle axe, gold. Right, I have no gold. Not yet. Enchanter stuff. Okay, let's sell uh, this axe. Daggers, iron daggers. Let's sell them. Great sword. Oh, I'm not selling that. <laughs> great sword. Okay, great sword. Uh, great sword. No. Not for me. Oh, maces. Two maces. Let's sell them. Two short bows. Let's sell them. Ice arrows. No. Small chip ice crystal. No. <clears throat> armors. Very nice armor. Soldier's helm. Heavy chain mail. Hmm. Studied leather. Studied leather. Rough, rough. Leather boots. Let's, let's sell all of them. Studied leather. Leather. Studied leather, so we have a full suit of studied leather now. Uh, small metal round shield, small shield. 150, 150, they're the same. Nah, I'm selling them. I have the shield of high ever. Or whoever is interested. Uh, large chipped spirit crystal. Let's sell it. Hardy's belt, gold ring, iron ring. 
sell them. And that's it. Oh no no no, that's it. That is not it. Let's see. Fire bombs, lyrium, dog whistle, blank vellum. Let's sell them. Quartz, sell them. Green stones. Traps. Should I use traps? I don't know. Okay, let's keep it. Deep mushrooms. I don't know what they're for. Spirit, fire, frozen, frost rock, metal. Uh, shards those may be used for uh, traps I'm not selling them I can make oh I cannot make traps I can make poisons hmm. okay I guess we'll sell the metal shards all right let's see his normal Hello goods again. is there something you need yes yes, yes. some supplies perhaps. Yes, yes yes let me know what you'd like okay Acolyte, short bow, great sword, steel, okay. A long sword, gray iron. Oh, we have one gold and 39 silvers. Nice. It's not, it's worse than what I have, my gray iron sword. Alright, a lot of uh, armors. Lesser. Mobari Crunch. Restores. Mobari Hound's health. Backpack. Uh, designed to distribute weight. Uh, increase. Oh! Oh! Okay, now I have 80 capacity. I need to be on the lookout. No, I don't. I no longer have uh, 100. Ah, come on. Look at this. Toxin and flasks. Let me check. Venom. Weapons coated in this mild poison deal additional nature damage. Death root extract. I don't have any death root. You know what I'm gonna do? Hello again. Yes. Is there something you need? Yes. Well, I, mean... I will buy one of each. One toxin extract and one flask. Okay. And I'm going to make a poison. Create item. All right. And now, how do I use this poison? Use. Use it on uh, this. No. How do I use it? How do I use it? Oh. Okay. I don't have to. Ah. Uh... It's timed! Come on, I thought it's related to uh, the number of hits. Ah, uh, okay. I spent all those money for nothing, unfortunately. What's this? Infirmary. It shall be done. You! You need to convince them. We've got to run! Why? The Darkspawn are coming! Okay, there are Grey Wardens the here, you know. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Maybe he saw something. The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. You... You can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Hmm. That is not good. Nothing to steal. Yeah, right. I can't feel it. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. It shall be done. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will yes. you accept the Maker's blessing? Uh, okay. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Thank you. As you say.
sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. There's another chest right here. Splint mail gloves. All right. Hello. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. Who are you? I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No, I haven't. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Why the haven't they fed you? Because you might want something I don't need. Ah, okay. The circle wizard's got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. Oh. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. Mm. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. Okay. They didn't find the key when you were arrested? I swallowed it. But it's uh, come back into my possession. Oh, I can then, imagine. So to speak. Okay. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Sold my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. The hungry deserter. Is this the guard in question? It is begun. Okay. You got your food and water. Now off with you. I did? Oh, I stole it from him. So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Uh, give the food to the prisoner. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Thank you. I had no idea. <laughs> I shall do it. Oh, Jory. Greetings. Hello. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Yes, I am. Who are you? Sir Jory is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? Um, I was not a soldier. Are you a nobleman? I am honored to be in your company, my lord. Oh, come on, don't I treat me like that. Lucky enough to eventually join the wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Yes, it is. I'm curious about the joining ritual. I. Has anyone told you about it? Mm, no. That is said, we might be going into the wilds. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Okay. All right. Very well. Good. Now, where to? There's another area. Can we get to the chest with this tranquil here? Let's see. As you say. Nope. Is in. We cannot go <laughs> get near the chest. Unfortunately. Alistair is right there. Let's see. Work Council. Servant. Servant. Studded helmet. Come on. Nothing to steal. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Well, there's Alistair, there's a mage. You know, guys, I'm gonna stop the episode right here. This first episode of the Let's Play. Not counting the origin stories themselves. Thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see what next time brings. Have a great day.